What's up guys, it's Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your WhatsApp web is not working on your Windows 10 or 11 or any Windows PC. Now, before I begin with the video, I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related issues, then just comment down below and we'll try to make a solution video for you. Now let's begin with the video. So this video is going to be quite long as I've covered all the possible solutions that can fix this specific issue, but they're quite easy. So let's get started with the first one, which is checking your browser compatibility. So before we actually begin with solutions, there are some things that you should check. First is checking your browser compatibility for WhatsApp web as it is only compatible with browsers such as Google Chrome. Firefox, Microsoft Edge, etc. and old browsers like Internet Explorer might not be supported. The second thing is reactivating your WhatsApp web page. So if WhatsApp web loads up but is misbehaving, you can try reloading the WhatsApp web page and see if that fixes your problem. Also you can try reactivating the WhatsApp web by clicking on the menu button that is the three dots on the chat page and selecting log out and then scanning the QR code again and logging back again. Third step is checking whether WhatsApp web website is actually down. So it might be that the web clients from the WhatsApp server is down and you can check whether that's the case or not using the downdetector.com website. This website highlights whenever a social media app servers are down. So it might be just not you but everybody who cannot access WhatsApp web. So in that case you just have to wait until the web client is back again to use it. The fourth step is clearing your browser's cache data. So to do this, go to your Google Chrome and select the three dots on the top right corner. Then choose settings and in the left pane, choose privacy and security. Then click on the clear browsing data and select time range to all time and make sure you check mark cache images and files and cookies and other site data. Then click on clear data and check if that fixes your problem. Fifth step is to check for your browser's updates. So to do this, let's say you have Google Chrome on your PC, then open up Google Chrome and click on the three dots on the top right hand corner, then choose settings from the context menu, then select about Chrome from the left panel, then Chrome will check and download any available updates that it has. And if even that doesn't work, then you can try reinstalling your browser altogether and check whether that fixes the issue. The sixth step is resetting your browser settings as this might also solve your problem. So for Google Chrome, open up Google Chrome and click on the three dots at the top right corner, then choose settings and then click on advanced and expand its options. Next, scroll down to the bottom of the tab and you can see an option for reset and clean up option. Now select the restore settings to their original defaults option and click reset settings to reset Google Chrome and check if that fixes the issue. The seventh step is using incognito mode in Chrome. So sometimes opening WhatsApp web in the normal web browser usually causes some issue due to some extensions or settings or privacy options. So in order to make sure that's not the case, go to your incognito tab for Google Chrome. Just click on the three dots at the top right corner and select new incognito window and try opening WhatsApp app there and see if that works. The eighth step is turning off your VPN software as it might cause some connectivity issues as well. So go to your Windows search and open up settings and then in settings, search for VPN and make sure you're not connected to any VPNs in this. Also in the advanced options, toggle off allow VPN over metered networks and allow VPN while roaming. Make sure if you have a third party VPN installed, then you turn it off as well. The ninth step is turning off your proxy server. So for that, use your Windows plus I key together to open up your Windows settings and then choose network and internet from the left pane. Then click on proxy, then click on setup next to use a proxy server and then disable the toggle option next to use a proxy server. Then click on save and check whether that fixes your issue. The 10th step is flushing your DNS cache data. So open up your command prompt by going to Windows search and tapping in command prompt. Then right click on the command prompt option and select run as administrator. Then type in ipconfig space slash flush DNS 
and press enter and check whether that fixes your issue 11th step is to turn airplane mode off and on on your mobile phone so whatsapp web might not be working because your phone connectivity has an issue as your computer and phone has to be connected for it to work so toggle airplane mode off and on again on android or ios and see whether that fixes your issue the second thing is resetting mobile network settings so again if whatsapp web is not working it's because your computer might not be able to reach your phone so make sure that whatsapp is working on your mobile phone perfectly before trying to troubleshoot your pc for this the 13th step is opening the internet connections troubleshooter so similarly as your phone whatsapp web might not work because of your pc connectivity issues and you can fix that by going to your windows search and then entering the troubleshoot settings in the search box then click on the troubleshoot settings and select other troubleshooters then select internet connections and click on run the troubleshooter to open up the troubleshooter after that the troubleshooter will display two options select help me connect to a specific web page option from the menu and then enter the whatsapp apps url in the text box then click on next and then the troubleshooter might provide a solution for you the 14th step to solving this issue is zooming in to the whatsapp webs page to scan the qr code if you cannot access the whatsapp web because you can't sign in then simply sometimes whatsapp cannot properly scan the qr code to activate the whatsapp web in that case just press your control and plus and minus keys on your keyboard to zoom in and zoom out of the whatsapp web page and scan the qr code as you may need to make the QR code considerably bigger before scanning. So that is it for the video guys. I hope you liked this video and it helped you solve your problem. If it did not, then just comment down below and we'll try to make a solution for you specifically. And if it did solve your problem, then again, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.